Okay, friends, whether the screen is visible now? Yes, anyone of you can? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. So, welcome to all of you. Mohanan sir has correctly told, yes, this is our bread butter jam. But that is a, uh, yes, is a subject which we are routinely handling every day. But from CAB angle, little, yes, some more value addition will be, yes, you have to achieve some value addition so that you have to be in preparedness for all the CAB related questions. And here, Module D, uh, ABM paper. Here, I think most of the questions will be uh, 40 to 50 percent will be theoretical and remaining 50 to normally sometimes 60 percent will be numeric problem based as a banker. So it will start with balance it analysis and uh, some five marks will be given and the interpretation of the contents of the balance sheet. How was a banker? You look at the balance sheet, p and account and you should take credit related decision immediately. Then immediately you have to, yes, normally ratio analysis just to assess the financial health of a unit. Normally, some five to sometimes case study they will give. So that interpretation is important. How this, okay. So the five, five, ten marks normally will be on financial analysis and ratio analysis. Another five marks you can expect on working capital management because working capital management is another area and calculation of DP drawing power. The another five marks will be added on time loan assessment, DSER, NPV, IRR. So all those things repeatedly be asked. So the remaining five marks may be from questions. Now the new topic is the insolvency and bankruptcy code of India. So all those NPA management. So all these will come under that. It's a very vast subject. So anyhow, from CAB point of view, we will discuss or pick up only very, very important that may uh, that may be asked in your uh, uh, CAB. Uh, yes, I think it is a very nearby. So this is a crash course. IBS is kind enough to arrange a crash course to make you all in preparedness. Okay, in a quick cell, in a nutshell, you are capturing all the important points because some of you may be busy with your routine and you may not have attended the regular classes. Now, uh, yes, your efforts this time should uh, yes, go well, and all of you should be able to crack CAB this time because you all know next year onwards the syllabus is going to be tough. Okay, friends. So with this brief introduction, let me start the contents of a balance sheet. The balance sheet, I think all of you know, this is a simple balance sheet, friends. The simple, simplest balance sheet is net worth from CAB angle. Yes, I will load my, yes. <coughs> okay the pointer also, this is the simplest balance sheet. So here net worth, the liability side, okay, the liability side or you can, uh, from here you can start. The liability side, three segments of major, three segments of liabilities and two major segments of assets. So uh, balance sheet, I think all of you know, is balancing liabilities with assets. What is liability in brief? What is the company due to others is liabilities what the others due to the company are assets. I think all of you are from financial background and banking and finance and uh, accounting, both are interrelated. Balance sheet, yes, assessment, uh, analysis of balance sheet is uh, already a routine job of a banker, especially when you are going to take a decision. Look at the balance sheet. You should be able to interpret the contents and you should be able to take quick decision. We'll go live and we'll go practical we are going to cover all the practical tips, okay? Because the crash course to equip you from exam angle, okay, friends? So the liabilities are nothing but the other name for liabilities are source of funds. And the main three sources are, the first one is your own capital. That is the company's owned funds or promoter's funds, shareholder's fund in the case of company. In the case of partnership, it's a partner's fund, okay? So in the case of sole proprietorship, the proprietor's funds that will come under the major segment. So this is also called net worth. Also, it is a recognized as long-term source of funds. So all these in one slide, you are understanding. Liabilities are, yes, source of funds. And the liabilities, the main source is his own funds. Let him first, the company should infuse their own funds. Any activity is possible only with, yes, infusion of funds from their side. 
If you do not provide a capital, you cannot straight away go to the bank and ask, sir, I want a loan. No, the loan will be considered provided you have infused your own stake in the activity. Normally, the banker will look at the balance sheet, how much capital you have infused. So the capital becomes the base for any, any business commercial activity that is also called network, also called E. Sometimes the some yes, sometimes you know it will be from balance sheet angle, it is net worth, and sometimes it will also be called E equity, and it is considered as long-term source. So what comes under uh, uh, net worth or long term uh, this net worth that is one defines. Even equity, equity means share capital, share capital or the capital provided by the yes, promoters of the company or shareholders of the company plus reserves. Reserves arises only when the company is in existence for some more time. They are add on, uh, yes, when they earn profits, start earning profits, all the profits they will not drain out. They will try to retain or they will try to create reserves for some specific purpose. So that is also considered as part of the capital, owned funds, and retain earnings. Sometimes the company will try to retain as much profit and in the activity so that their uh, capital will go up. Okay, friends? So this is the first segment. Second segment is they are going to a bank or other financial institution or raising a long-term loan. The funds are coming from, here the funds are coming from their own sources. Here the, that is already, it will be recognized as long-term source. Here the funds are coming from, again, external sources. This is internal funds, this is external fund. And again, this is classified as NCL from balance sheet angle. After the new balance sheet, the company act was amended in 2013. Earlier we used to call term liabilities. Now you have to call it as what? Non-current liabilities. What is non-current liability? The liabilities other than current liabilities are non-current, non-current liabilities. NCL, the short form. This is also long-term source. So here NCL means any loan or any dues to others, uh, yes, payable, repayable after one year. Within one year, it will become current, current liabilities. Within one year, it will become current liabilities. After one year, it will become non-current liabilities. If it is their own funds, it will become net worth. So understood, friends? So here, the current liabilities mean that is, re, that is payable, yes, uh, payable is all payables payable for the unit to others that is uh, liabilities and external okay mm -hmm. these two are external liabilities this is internal liability they are due to their promoters themselves and this is classified as short term source these two are long term source long term source of fund i think one of you have to mute i think one of you yes please uh, remember that. Yes, I think your black noise keeps coming. One of you, please, you remain in mute mode. When I ask you specifically, yes, if you want to interact, at that time you unmute. But immediately you have to mute. I think one person, yes, doesn't uh, mute. The, you know, the whole flow of information will be interrupted. Okay, so others will not be able to understand. Okay, friends, please, your cooperation is very important. Okay, because the uh, crash course. Okay, so you understood the liabilities are major three heads from exam angle. In the classroom, it will be in a different way, but from CB angle, you have to do in uh, quickly. That is taking only maximum one minute for only one question. So 120 minutes are allotted to you, 100 questions. So CB again, no direct questions will be there. All will be indirect. Okay, friends. So you come to the asset side. Asset sides are only two, CA and CA. What is CA? Current assets. The current assets definition, if you want, you go on having a notepad by your side. It will sometimes, you know, when you note, when you note down in your own handwriting, yes, it will go into your mind very fast. What is current assets? The current assets are those which will generate cash flows for this unit within a maximum of one year. That's the definition of what? Current assets. What are the main component of current assets? Ah, uh, yes. Here itself, in one slide we have given. Yes, it is starts with cash. With the cash, you go to the market and buy raw material. Raw material become WIP. That is working process. So the working process will become finished goods. All are collectively called inventory. Raw material, WIP, finished goods that will remain in the factory. That is all pre-sale item. Before sales, these are the assets. 
they, why they call current assets when the inventory becomes booked debts so the inventory will generate cash flows within a maximum of one year cash already is a cash so it doesn't mean yes it is already liquid form but here it is not liquid so it has to be sold to become cash and the selling also will be on credit or uh, uh, cash when it is sold on credit then again it will become book debts other current assets so the current asset definition is the current asset definition is these assets will normally self life long the self life will be less than one year one year or less than one year but here the nca mean all other nc also three categories the fixed assets that is the land and building furniture and fittings plant and machinery other molds infrastructure these are all fixed asset also called as physical assets okay also called as tangible assets also called as what tangible assets you can see this asset physically you can see and here non current assets mean long term investments sometimes you have invested in a a uh, long term government of india bond or uh, sometimes in your own sister unit some company they will promote their own jv or wos so that will be also called as what yes it's a non current assets that is a long term uh, investment so these the, uh, again intangible assets okay these three components are called as nca nca is the biggest component nca ca on the asset side only two but nca again three sub component fixed asset or physical asset non current assets mean long term investment or long term uh, yes participation in a joint venture or wos okay so here intangible assets mean goodwill i think all of you know patent right or uh, preliminary expenses okay even r and d uh, research and development anything they why they called intangible the intangible now uh, basel 3 is being in a very different way intangibles should be knocked off from the balance sheet as early as possible because uh, it, it, instead of debiting to p and l account they are just keeping it in assets account and it has to be amortized over a period of years Amorti amortization mean they cannot park that uh, is actually an expense why they call intangible assets these assets will not have any realizable value even if you want to sell you can sell but the realizable value at the time of liquidation suppose a company is there it has got a goodwill you have paid something for the goodwill or you have paid something invested something in r&d when the company is going to be wound up the buyer may not give any value for this r&d so that is why it is classified as intangible assets but the intangible assets should not remain too long any when you observe your balance sheet if intangible assets are remaining there too long then it is not a good company but intangible asset temporarily they can park it agreed and normally under basel 3 the intangible assets will be reduced from owned funds the net worth will be reduced by intangible asset because intangible asset any time it may hit you intangible asset any time it may become a loss that is why tangible net worth they will use the word tangible net worth mean net worth this much net worth minus intangible assets you understood so the balance sheet will tally three segments of liabilities two segments of assets okay now this is the simplest balance sheet in the simplest balance sheet you know now we are going to the practical to do the understand the practical you should have a theoretical background these are the contents of the balance sheet okay friends understood okay what is net worth you understand that is owned funds plus reserves retained profits okay ncl mean term loan long term provision okay long term provision like pension provision provident fund provision and even dtl that is dtl mean uh, deferred tax liabilities and any you know, term loan from the banking system or any other financial institution these are called ncl why it is called ncl repayable after one year why it is called cl repayable within a year it has to be paid within a year so that is why it is called current liabilities our ccod will come here please remember bank is giving two type of loans the main purpose is credit management our working capital loan will come here this is a part of cl current liabilities okay working capital loan you remember it is a revolving in nature normally it has the tenure of a working capital loan limit is one year only but nobody will close this within one year it will be again it will getting announced announced 
so the working capital limits will be reinstated after the balance sheet is tidied sometimes be announced sometimes be reduced so working capital loan though literally we are classifying as short term liability short term liability current liability sometimes it literally becomes a long term liability but balance sheet purpose is classified as a current liability understood even trade credit also will come under current liabilities outstanding expenses will come under current liabilities outstanding expenses so suppose we are at the end of march you will pay, provide some outstanding expenses we have it is due in april or it is already due but uh, may on the month end we will not have paid because of the balance sheet related so we will keep it in a yes it will sl uh, that is outstanding expenses okay friends so here provisions and all will come under uh, <coughs> short term provisions for normally for your uh, uh, bonus and for income tax these provisions will come under current liability i think the classification next it comes okay so three segments the liability so total liability will be net worth plus ncl the exam you have to remember this ncl plus cl they will ask what is the net worth of the company they will now those days they will give a balance sheet and you have to interpret and you have to answer the question now the formula itself has undergone a change they will give some data based on the data you have to construct a balance sheet yourself and after constructing a balance sheet you have to answer the questions yourself it will be very interesting very challenging just wait okay friends here asset side nca nca mean the assets which is self life or uh, utility life it will last for beyond one year that is non current assets the other other than non current asset non current asset here current asset uh, what is what is the difference between current assets and non current assets the current assets will generate cash flow within a one year all others are non current assets only okay so here only two segment so the total assets are ca plus nca so the simplest balance sheet is equal to total liabilities will become equal to total liabilities or net worth plus ncl plus cl is equal to cl plus nca ca plus nca this is asset side this is liability side sometimes they will ask question how do you calculate net worth net worth is equal to total assets minus external liabilities here even net worth is also a liability liability liable to the own promoters okay because business entity is different from the individuals is a business business is separate individuals are separate partners are individual but the partnership family is a, a non non living entity is a business organization so the partners funds business entity is using so here that is why capital is also considered as a liability for the business organization you understood so this is the simplest balance sheet now simplest balance sheet this net worth you have to again identify under long term source it will remain nobody will withdraw normally very rarely only there some part to withdrawal may be there otherwise again in for a company the shares will not be paid back shares will not be redeemed dispensers will be redeemed loans will be redeemed but shares will remain so net worth is long term source ncl is also long term source ncl mean term liabilities current liabilities are called as sts lts sts because in funds angle they will use another terminology so the terminology ought to be, be popular nca mean long term assets ca mean short term assets short term u mean uses u or a they will use lta they will use here sta they will use or ltu they will use in the exam they will freely use this word don't get confused ltu mean long term uses stu mean long term short term uses current assets now nca mean long term a lta they will sometimes some books they will use the word lta some books they will use the word ltu ltu mean long term asset long term uses a mean assets you understood simple balance sheet now the contents of the balance sheet i think all of you are aware so i will uh, yes because we'll just for information this i will share with all of you immediately on uh, this is level 1 i think seven sittings they are giving seven uh, occasion now after around uh, yes now when this is over by 6 o'clock 8 to 9:30 again one and a half hours today yes they have scheduled so that you all be able to uh, perform better in the abm paper okay friends simultaneously you are i know you are also learning bfm paper four papers 
here are also four paper now after that you have to concentrate on your elective paper uh, okay most of you will have uh, identified retail banking okay anyhow as per your choice so here first yes during this uh, crash course the focus will be on bfm paper and abm paper and here i am happy to be associated with you for yes model d of uh, abm so equities you know these are the types of equity this you uh, know and the current liabilities mean any liability payable within uh, the cycle of 12 months normally the operating cycle is 12 months as per the company act operating cycle mean from cash it becomes raw material raw material become finished uh, semi finished goods semi finished goods will become finished goods then finished goods will be either sold on cash or sometime credit cash mean immediately it will become cash always will become a, a trade debtors or book debts or you call receivable any name you will either you call book debts or you call receivable or you call trade debts when realized that will become cash again with the cash you get the another uh, load of raw material another load of finished goods ship it like that activity will go on okay faster the activity the better will be the profitability you agree we will analyze so many things yes within a allotted time okay friends so the current liabilities you understand liabilities repayable are to be met by the unit within a maximum of one year and as per the yes these are the sub words of current liabilities the main it is our ccod cc mean cash credit od mean overdraft this also is a main segment of our current liabilities and uh, I, uh, okay and the trade payables trade payable trade credit okay sometimes you know you will have purchased raw material on credit you will not have given immediate money that is called trade payables not receivable receivable is what the company what others go to the company is receivable now what is trade payable the company has now purchased raw materials not on full payment on credit time so they have to they will first get the raw material then they will pay later as per the agreement between the seller of the raw material and the user of the raw material that is our company understood so you have to quickly understand how you are going to know ratio analysis will do will be thrilling thrilling experience for all of you other current liabilities may suppose in some provisions are there all these will come under current liabilities okay so the definition part non current sometimes why i am giving all this sometimes they may not give uh, they will give all the data uh, together and uh, by reading the data you have to understand what is the current liability what is the current assets okay and you have to do analysis based on the data given okay uh, non current liability mean these are the non current liability i think one person has not muted please you can call their name and uh, tell them boss and because one person unmuting me the voice ever others may not be able to hear who is it ah uh, yes i think now he has muted very good non current liabilities okay non current liabilities mean the liabilities which are payable after one year especially long term loan okay long term loan they may have taken and the installment due in the current year that will be current liabilities the installment after one year that will be uh, term liabilities okay term liabilities will be from term loans will be from banks or from other recognized financial institutions okay friends deferred tax liability sometimes the tax has to be paid the assessed tax has to be paid over a period of time it will be spread over a period of time to give relief to the company so that is called deferred tax liabilities so that is also a ncl ncl mean non current liability other long term liabilities other than that okay because for example bonus uh, sorry pension provisions pf provisions is yes, a long term provision that will also come under non current liabilities okay friends pension okay other uh, term liabilities that is from close relatives others agreeing to pay after 3 year after 5 year that will also come under ncl okay friends the definition part the components part fixed assets i think all of you know yes yeah fixed assets are again tangible intangible tangible mean physical you can see the goods land and building you can see p and m you can see furniture and uh, uh, <coughs> pretty you can see 
but goodwill you cannot see so that is why it is intangible r and d you cannot see this is investment copyright you cannot see so these are non physical assets or intangible assets any name you give you understand deferred tax assets again is a uh, yes entry so you have paid over tax and you are yes you have, sometimes you know some units will pay over tax so the assessed tax will be less or the calculation will be little different so they are called deferred tax dta dta nc that is non current investment suppose in the company has promoted a sister unit and on that they have invested something that is called long term uh, investments other non current assets other non current assets mean other than classified okay so all this will be coming at nca nca is nca it is also called as ltu or lta ltu or lta okay yes now come to yes current assets these current assets are very important for our uh, yes for our uh, working capital management okay and these are the main component what are the main component no yes current investment marketable or easily saleable investment suppose you have kept some money in post office some companies are keeping some money in the bank bank any time they may pay back so that is called as what current investment that can be converted to cash that is a part of current assets inventories raw material wap inventories they were finished goods will become uh, inventory collectively called as inventory trade receivable outstanding trade invoices credit sale these are all current assets current assets also called as sts short term assets okay current uh, short term terms and term loans and advances term short term loans short term loans we they will have given some uh, uh, temporary finance or to their own sister unit repayable within a uh, one year repayable within three months such temporary advances to somebody in the market or their own uh, units that will be called as what short term loans and advances sometimes to staff also they will give special advances staff also they will give special advances or staff are eligible for some uh, advances and it will be adjusted out of salary so that will be uh, finding a place in current assets only other current assets you know prepaid expenses advance taxes so all these are the broad con uh, contents of uh, current assets current assets okay now we are coming to question number 1 now we are going to the live cib questions friend mcq so here theory as well as mcq will come on the screen you don't have to break your head slightly go through this simply you are ready for the exam okay friends because you can very well read a book but you have don't have time correct all of you agree that is why crash course because you did not have time to attend the regular courses conducted by ibs so ibs thought fit to equip you uh, yes last minute okay because sometimes what you learn in the yes just one week before or two weeks before the exams that will remain in your mind because the things that you have studied long back sometimes you may not be able to remember because of your pressure of work agreed so here maybe this crash course will help you in a very big way to improve your score okay friends okay now which among this is not a lt source or not a lt source uh, not a lt source so you see negative question uh, so first one for example capital is not a whether it is not a is a lt source or not a lt source you have to uh, one by one you have to decide capital is a lt source so this is not the answer and reserves always lt source the question is source all liabilities are sources please remember okay here not a lt source they are asking okay now winding up of a subsidiary winding up of a subsidiary again is a lt is a lt source only because some companies you know they are sister unit they will close so this the liquidation or liquidation they will get some cash flow that is sale of assets sale of assets always is a inflow or in always it's a source of funds okay yes increase in liabilities source decrease in assets source decrease in assets also source i will come to that afterwards okay so winding up of subtree also is a source of and long term source and depreciation 
depreciation is also not a healthy source of funds okay depreciation also a source of funds please remember and it is also a long term source only because the charge to uh, it will depreciation is charged to whom depreciation is charged to fixed assets so uh, depreciation we will see the answer e provision for bonus now here this is a long term source this is also a long term source this is also a long term source the depreciation is also a long term source please remember you may wonder sir how depreciation is a source no problem because you will come to know because depreciation how we are getting by reducing the value of the assets by reducing the value of the fixed assets uh, you are getting okay that is called depreciation lower in the value of the assets please remember whenever there is a reduction in the assets it is a source of funds whenever there is a increase in the liabilities source of funds for example what is source use okay well, first source i will tell you what is source source of funds supposing you are raising a loan term loan you are raising a term loan this year last year there is no loan this year there is no loan housing loan last year this year you have taken housing loan now tell me whether you have sourced the funds or you have used the funds housing loan availed is a source or use tell me boss one of you can answer mm -hmm. housing loan you are availing it's a yes. increase in yes it is a source or housing loan source. is a liability for you it's a source okay suppose you are uh, paying your housing loan or you are paying installment and interest in a uh, housing loan now you are getting the funds or using the funds when you are servicing using, the house, using funds you are using the fund yes using it's an outflow yes yes correct either you can use the word sources or uses or you can use the word inflow of funds outflow of funds both are same but sometimes they will use source of funds sometimes they will use use of funds sometimes they will use inflow of funds in cash flow analysis they will use inflow of cash uh, inflow of cash mean funds inflow of funds outflow of funds okay sources mean yes inflow of funds uh, uses mean funds are getting used okay always remember uh, two things you have to remember as a credit you can note down now increase in liability decrease in assets always source of funds note down friends before you forget okay note down because something if you keep noting down what i told increase in liabilities whether it is a source or use increase in liability always source even in midnight even in sleep never forget increase in liability source or use source okay increase in assets you have got last year there was no asset no car this year you have got a car now you have got the funds or you have used the funds you have sourced the funds or used the fund okay so increase in assets always considered as what tell me friends one of you tell increase in assets you are using the funds or getting the funds yes yeah, yes you are yes, using yes, the yes. funds so increase in assets always use of funds okay now you come to the ulta contra increase in liability increase in liability is always a source increase in assets always a use two things you understood now you come to the third one contra decrease in assets decrease in assets you tell me whether it is a source or use decrease in assets tell me friends decrease in assets decrease in assets mean last year there was a, a machinery machinery was 10 lakhs now this year the machinery sold that is decrease in machinery decrease in assets now you have got the funds or you have used the funds decrease in assets always remember decrease in assets always what source of funds okay oh, now decrease in liability decrease in liability you tell me source or use decrease in liability you are uh, yes decrease yes, in liability yes. huh? use yes. of funds okay now you understood two things are considered as sources two things are considered contra easy to remember two things are considered as uses two things are sources two things are uses this you keep in mind in most of the questions in 
credit management you are going to do again i will repeat increase in liability source increase in liability always you are getting funds okay and uh, decrease in assets always you are getting funds that is why depreciation is called as source of funds depreciation why you call source of fund because by depreciation you are reducing the value of the assets so by reducing the value of the asset reduction in sir, assets sir, sir one doubt reduction sir. in assets sir depreciation ah, yes, sir depreciation means uh, that is that is being wiped off no actually it is not coming no, no depreciation mean the value of the machinery because of the wear and tear for example you are getting a new mobile 20000 after one year you tell me what's the value of your mobile phone same 20000 it will be reduced tell me reduced, friends definitely. reduced definitely so similar way whenever you are reducing the value of the assets it amounts to inflow of funds inflow of funds you understood whenever you are increasing the value of assets it is a use of funds suppose say yeah last year there was no uh, flat for you house for you this year you have constructed a house that mean you have created assets now creation of assets means you are getting the funds or using the funds tell me boss only using simple question using the fund uh, using the fund okay now you are selling the house when you are selling the house mean reducing the assets reduction in assets reduction in asset contra is you are sourcing getting the funds you understand so from that angle depreciation is always depreciation charge is because rep- depreciation is lower in the value of assets so depreciation mean value of the assets are getting reduced when the value of the assets are reduced indirectly it means you are getting funds source of funds so that is why depreciation is always long term source so here is long term source is a long term source is a long term source is a long term source the question is which one of these not a lt so the provision for bonus is short term short term source so the answer is e okay friends you have to analyze because why you have taken more time for question number 1 you have to understand so many concept even to answer one single question in cib cib there will not be any direct questions please remember all questions will be indirect that will make you think for a while you cannot straight away who is the prime minister of india that everybody knows is a straight answer but morardi desai was the prime minister during which period that will be the question that will be the type of question that will be asked in cib cib always they will test your smartness your deep understanding of a subject and indirectly they will give some data they will make you interpret now have you understood question number 1 which is not a lt answer is e because all these are long term source this is not a long term source you see the second one okay friends second one mcq all mcq exam mode which among these is not a short term source of funds uh, the earlier long term source here short term source which is not a short term source you have to analyze each here. yes working capital loan working up the loan is always a short term source okay so this is not the answer agreed okay elimination method you have to be in the exam this is how you have to quickly get the uh, four or five option Immed- immediately you have to decide sometimes it will maybe appear to be oh you will be you will be in a dilemma to select the correct option this is the thing everybody is facing oh provision for bonus is a is a short term source here the question is which is not a short term source so provision of bonus is a short term source discounting and who's and bill supposing you have, uh, yes there is a bill payable after 3 months the 3 months bill is discounted now it is a it is a discounting a trade bill is a is not a term loan is a short term loan is a source or use is a source is a short term source so that is also short term so the question is which is not okay now depreciation the answer is depreciation okay why depreciation depreciation is not a short term source it's a long term source okay sir so why is a long term source because it is on fixed assets depreciation is charged on assets by charging depreciation the value of the assets are reduced so any reduction in the value of the assets means reduction 
in the value of assets mean source of funds increase in the value of assets mean use of funds you understood contra increase in liability is source decrease in liability is use easy to remember now how many of you have by heart now can anyone repeat that is a techniques i will repeat yes, for your benefit in, uh, i will repeat ah okay. yes yes very good ah super super uh, okay uh, i will also help you increase in liability source decrease in assets source increase in assets use decrease in liabilities use two things are uses two things are uh, sources that will help you to do cash flow fund flow analysis in credit management understood friend now we'll go further don't worry is a journey now uh, today level 1 so outstanding expenses yes it is uh, okay so this also short term source outstanding unpaid expense also short term so it's a liability you know so liability is a source and is a short term so here depreciation is the it's also a source but it's not a question you see is not a st source is a long term source so the odd man out is d odd man out is d all the four are identical so quickly you have to identify d is the answer okay friend? d is the answer depreciation is charged on uh, depreciation charge is lt source not st source okay okay friends so now third one which among these now i am coming to the use side which among these is not a st use of funds st use which is not a short term use uh, you see which is not a short term use you see uh, working capital loan is not a uh, use it is a source okay so a is applicable which among these not a st use is not a use at all so a is applicable trade receivable trade receivable is a uh, short term use trade receivable is a short term use okay because uh, trade receivable no will be realized within maximum 3 months or 6 months trade receivable that is a book debts book debts is short term assets or in other way short term use of funds either they will call stu or sta okay so this is kind of not a st so this is not a is a st only you see the not a st so use okay negative st provision st provision is not a uh, use it is a rather a source the question is which is not a st use of fine so a c okay we'll see uh, trade is able not a st use is a st use only okay depreciation is not a is a st source sorry lt source just now we saw question is which is not a st use okay uh, now e all except b all except b that's the correct answer so this is also not a st use this is also but this is a st use okay the question is which is not a st use so trade receivable is a st use this is not a st use st this is a Uh, yes, the source. Yes, the yes. Normally, short term source, short term use. Current assets are short term uses. Current liabilities are short term. Ah, uh, as uh, short term liabilities are short term sources. Okay, liabilities are sources. Assets are uses. Why I am telling all these words? These words will be frequently used in very popularly used in your uh, credit management MCQs or in case study. Sometimes they will give case study. Just wait. We'll go one by one. So here the correct answer is E. Agreed. So you see, simple question, but it needs to be uh, yes before answering. You should think over and answer. Just like that, you cannot answer. Okay. Question number four. Question number four. Now uh, I will leave to you. One of you can answer because I will also in involve. But quickly, you have to answer immediately. You have to unmute. That never forget to unmute because sometimes you know the background noise will keep on coming. Which among these is not a LT use? Ah, because analysis of balance sheet, this side two, ah uh, yes, you uh, sources are two, users are two. Okay, you understood the contents of the balance sheet. To whether you have really understood, the simple questions will help you. Now you see, fixed assets is not is a LT use only. Fixed assets is LT use only, and intangible assets also LT use only. Question is which is not LT use? 
servicing tam loan is also ltus only servicing tam loan is also ltus is a long term you have taken a uh, uh, term loan now installment you are paying back so funds are going out you are using the funds so that is also long term use okay now depreciation is not a long term use again you know depreciation yes depreciation never a use it's a source so the odd man out here is d odd man out here investment in a jv that is also ltus because you have invested in a joint venture jv mean joint venture you have started another unit join hands with another company so that is called investment in jv so it's a yes investment in jv is a ltus question is which is not ltus d is the odd man out d is the odd man out so the four questions we have given like an appetizer yes sir any sir, doubt uh, with regard to the first four questions yes boss sir can you repeat uh, third question sir third question ah huh? third question sir. okay ah. third question boss which among these is not a st use of fund they are intelligently they are asking they, they are giving some five item not a st use okay now analyze each item working capital loans is not a use it's a source so uh, this may not a mean so a is also applicable okay uh, they are asking not a st use you have to identify only st use all others you, you, you under, all you have to identify what which is not a st use the answer is which is not a st use which is not a st use now this is not a st use okay this is st use this is st use short term use Because trade receivable is a part of current assets. All current assets are short-term uses. All current liabilities are short-term sources. All fixed assets are long-term uses. All capital and NCL is long-term sources. So the four components, different different words, just to have a broader understanding for exam purposes. Agreed, boss. So here trade receivable is only short-term use. This is not a ST provision is not a use at all. It's a source. This is also a long term. It's a source. The, uh, so this is a source. This is a source. This is a source. So the answer is which is not a ST use of fund. Yes, trade receivable is the ST use of fund. All others are so, so. The answer is all except B. All except B. Correct, boss. Understood, boss. This is a sister question. Yes, understood. Yes, boss. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now fourth one, you see. Okay. Now we come to fifth one. Yes. Now we are going to have variety. LTOs, you see, have a variety. Now NWC, because this major uh, yes, every exam there will be current ratio questions will be there. NWC questions will be there. NWC is very very important for a banker. Net working capital. You can note down. either you call networking capital or it is also the margin for working capital nwc other name for nwc is okay how you calculate that is different okay we will come to that nwc called as networking capital also known as margin for working capital margin for working capital then the question arises what is working capital working capital is nothing but investment in current assets that's all money needed to be invested in current assets of a unit is known as working capital capital mean money you want money to buy raw material to have a reasonable level of cash and the raw material become work in process you have to pay the wages you have to pay the electricity bill all those expenses will be added selling expenses administrative expenses then it will become sales after sales only you will get the cash flow so the, till then you will keep on spending so that is called as what yes working capital is called as investment in current assets okay understood what is nwc ca minus cl how nwc calculated current assets minus current liability current assets these are the things i want to be invested in current asset but that is funded by current liabilities always current assets should be more current liabilities should be less so the ratio between current assets and current liability is also called as current ratio 
the difference is nwc the ratio is current ratio both are interrelated current ratio will be expressed in a mathematical uh, yes maybe 1.25 1.3 but nwc will not be expressed as 1.25 1.3 will be expressed in rupee or quantum that's the difference between nwc and current ratio both are interrelated what is nwc even in dream you don't forget ca minus cl ca minus cl or cl minus ca they will twist you or lt sources minus lt uses or lt uses minus lt sources the correct answer is now you have to pick up two answers both are correct which are correct can anyone tell nwc is calculated how because the balance it is tallying so nwc also calculated in two way ah uh, which one madam a and c a correct and a and c both will get the same answer ca minus cl or lt sources minus lt uses not lt uses minus lt always lt sources would be more lt uses would be less always current assets would be more current liabilities would be less then only the unit is viable i, I will give you another few minutes wait i will give you three model balance sheet and quickly you can sir, tell i will ask you a question ah yes madam sir that current asset means it will be long term uses na no, sir then current assets sir, madam no 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 current assets are short term uses madam current assets are always short term uses minus short term uh, sources or long term sources minus uh, long term uses a balance sheet consists of five items madam long term sources are two items long term uses are only one item long term uses mean nca remember this is nca any balance sheet only five item which are the five item net worth nw plus ncl plus cl equal to ca plus nca for the simplest balance sheet madam for the cab purpose net worth plus ncl plus cl is equal to uh, ca plus nca understood or not madam the okay, for okay, uh, okay. cb okay. purpose these three things will tally with these two things you just wait for another two minutes i will give you a interesting question okay now nwc can be calculated in two way you see the demo you see the demo now either a or c both are same only both are same so the answer is e how this two formula ca minus cl also nwc lt sources minus lt uses also nwc what is nwc if now look at the question uh, this is a question net worth plus ncl plus cl total liabilities you see net worth ncl these two are considered as long term sources this cl is considered as short term sources all the three is total liability what is the total assets total liabilities net worth plus ncl there is long term sources plus short term sources is total liability and the total assets are nca plus ca so if you minus either you can get ca minus ca also same answer or net worth plus nca minus nca also you will get the same answer because balance it tally you know total liability tally with total assets so ca minus cl also or nw plus ncl minus nc also both will be same or different tell me now yes boss now tell me now demo is a demo understood total liability tally with total assets you know so ca minus cl will be equal to net worth plus ncl minus nca agreed or not boss both are considered yes so, so nwc can be calculated in two ways yes madam understood Sir. Yes. Current assets uh, is uh, short term uses, na? Ah, uh, short term use, madam. Uh, short term use. Okay, madam. Uh, short term use is short term source. Here it will be more, madam. Here it will be more. This will be less. So C A minus C L. Here these two will be more. This will be less. Then only it will tally, na, madam. Normally in any balance sheet, C A will be more than C L. So this side C A will be more. So C A minus C L. is positive should be positive always ca should be more than cl okay okay so balance it tally you know so nw net worth plus ncl minus nc also same answer you will get you understood yes sir no okay you you try yes, <laughs> okay so nwc two formulas never forget now come to 
question number yes one uh, live example now there is a net worth this is a company 100 rupees capital and reserve it may be 100 lakhs or 100 rupees or 100 crore just for example reserves and surplus are 50 rupees so the total net worth, net worth is 100 plus 50 150 now we are live demo how to yes in the exam these questions are asked simple question they will ask in jb also cb also okay now you understood what is net worth owned funds plus reserves and plus retained surplus we in this case 150 now long term debts mean ncl this is ncl this much is ncl this much is net worth this much is cl he will be equal to this with three or considered as c nca one this 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 these three are considered as nca these are considered as ca so these three plus these two will become what he will tally always balance it now we just to see okay this is long term sources always capital for reserves long term sources now this is also long term source because they are raising a long term loan unsecured loan unsecured loan means what close relatives friends all that long term basis that is 40 term loan from the bank 200 that is term loan that is repayable after one year okay so the total term loan liability is 240 okay now current liability is the break up working after loan 220 creditor that is raw material purchased on credit time 50 advance received from yes somebody sometimes you know either you will sell or ad, uh, advance received advance received from uh, some buyers so that is also a liability because you have to sell him the goods you know so this is a liability short term liability provisions short term liability expense outstanding short term liability short term source so this is 300 so total is 540 plus 150 690 is the size of the balance sheet now here you come to the asset side asset side they will give in the exam they may give in a jumbled way but you have to cl correctly classify then only your answers will be precisely correct okay friends so fixed asset machinery furniture you uh, put under nca only part of nca nca again three subheads are there first one physical assets second one non current assets like everything is non current assets only that is long term investment that is investment in farms 25 investment in security deposit 35 so 60 is non current assets as a long term investment and here fixed assets are machinery 220 that is 240 so 60 and here intangible assets preliminary expenses intangible no that is have no realizable value but it is temporarily parked in assets temporarily parked in assets so here if you total it 60 plus 30 90 240 plus 90 330 these are long term uses so 330 are long term uses here current assets are long term short term uses uh, cash bank balance marketable security debt or these are the break up just for your information they give like that you have to analyze now the question they will ask is what are the lt sources how much funds are from long term sources now you have long term sources mean only these two things So 150 plus 240, 240 is considered as long term source. 150 net worth. This is the 240. These both are long term. What is short term source? Short term sources are only 300. Current liabilities are considered as yes, short term source 300. You totally that is total liabilities are total sources 390 plus 300 690. Now we come to this side. Assets long term uses are. 30 240 300 330 long term uses also called long term assets either they call lta or ltu same here sta sts same here lt uh, source or ltl long term sources okay long term liabilities long term liabilities either ltl lt source both are same wording will be different there is sometimes some books will use that so now here current assets are short term uses short term uses 360 so there also if it totally 690 now ratio analysis will come afterwards now these are the contents of the balance sheet now you come to question number yes 5 for question 5 over now question number 
now you see okay is a live question friends believe it or not similar questions are being asked in cib you see the question lt sources <coughs> versus st sources are 3:1 lt uses versus st uses 1:1 there are different way of intelligent questions this is a intelligent question now the question is what will be the current ratio okay and they have not given any only data they have given they have not given any yes nothing they have given how much now based on this data what will be the current ratio only ratios they have given now how to calculate don't worry the lt sources plus st sources become the liabilities total liabilities here lt uses plus st uses that will be the total assets total liability will tell you the total assets now you have to imagine this is how you have to construct in the exam is a intelligent question uh, now how to uh, go live question friend believe it or not similar questions are asked so lt st sources 3 is to 1 so 3 is to 1 you make it a ratio okay let it be 3 1 so 3 3 is to 1 mean 4 totally 4 agreed or not you assume the uh, liability total liabilities are 100 total size of the balance sheet this side is 100 that side is 100 now tell me what should be the current liabilities 3 is to 1 mean 3 is to 1 mean 3 plus 1 100 divided by 3 mean that is long term sources 100 divided by 4 means that is short term sources now what will be short term source can anyone tell if it is 100 total size of the liabilities short term source is nothing but current liabilities current liabilities are can anyone tell what is the current liabilities 3 is to 1 25 25 ah very good very good ah yes you see ah long term sources are 75 short term sources this is current liabilities short term source other name is current liabilities only don't worry long term source mean two things are included in long term source okay 3 is to 1 3 is to 1 3 is to 1 ah 3 1 okay asset side you come 1 is to 1 total you assume 100 so uh, nc also 100 uh, current assets also 100 here lt is nothing but nca non current asset name will change but the concept will not change somewhere lt you mean don't get worried sir lt what is lt nca sir what is stu stu ca so that 1 is to 1 mean 50 50 now can you find out current ratio now can you find out current ratio yes current assets divided by current liability 50 divided by 25 2 is the current ratio how is it now it's a good question or not tell me boss tell me yes friends one of you react yes or no yes sir yes sir or yes, no sir, sir? ah yes, sir. this is how this is how they will give is the modern questions okay friends they will not give Uh, data and uh, then it is a easier side question you know they will give data indirectly from the data indirect data you have to understand the data and you see the next question you see the next question the lt sources st sources similar one more to understand you know one stroke you may not understand so i am giving one more example i think this you have can uh, attempt yourself within one minute you have to attempt and normally 30 minutes 30 seconds not 30 minutes each question you have to practice in such a way because a crash program you know next two weeks you are yes you will be sitting in front of the live screen okay now lt sources versus ht sources lt sources mean capital plus uh, long term loan ht sources mean all current liabilities is in the ratio 5 is to 3 lt uses versus ht uses lt uses mean nca st uses mean ca they are indirectly they are telling they will not tell uh, current assets current liability you have to interpret from the given data uh, now 3 is to 1 what is the current ratio so solution so first one 5 is to 3 5 is to 3 means what same year assume 100 so 5 is to 3 means what ratio no uh, sort of form 5 plus 3 8 so 100 divided by 8 into 5 62.5 Long term sources three thirty seven point five total it hundred and five is to three tell it or not great this is how you have to crack agreed all of you are becoming James Bond 
James Bond, from the some clue he will uh, detect. Similar way, they will give some hints only. From the hints, you have to answer the question. You have to construct the balance sheet. You have to understand quickly. Okay, understood. Okay. So five used to three, you milgya. Ah, now you come to this side. L T U S versus S T U S three used to two. Three used to two means what? Three plus two five five hundred divided by five twenty. So this will be sixty. This will be forty. Perfectly correct. Yes or no? So long term assets are sixty. Long term short term assets are forty. Now your job is easy. Now what will be current ratio? Current ratio is short term assets minus uh, divided by short term uh, liabilities. Short term sources. That is current liability. So forty divided by thirty seven point five. One point zero six. One mark. One mark. One mark. How many of you understood? Tell me if you are not understood. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Understood or not? No, sir. 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 Two assets necessarily tally with assets. Assets two components, liability three components. Okay, this I will upload today. Whenever you get time before next class. Okay, today second class will be immediately after at eight o'clock. Okay, so tomorrow or whenever you get time, go through these presentations. Immediately, you may sometimes you may not understand. Because a new subject, not a new subject. Subject is same old, but questions are nowadays in a twisted format. Is unfamiliar format, indirect way. Now you see the long term sources are nothing but capital plus capital plus long term loan versus ST sources, that is current liabilities or five years to three. Then you have to find out the real. Uh, figure how we will find out. You imagine liabilities are hundred. You imagine assets are hundred. Assume okay. So hundred mean yes. Current liabilities will be thirty seven point five. Other assets, other liabilities will be sixty two point five hundred. And again ratio five is to three. Five times this is three times. Agreed. So hundred. Now you come to this yeah. side. Three is to three is to two. Three is to two means five. So it is sixty to forty. Sixty. Okay. So current assets are forty. Current liabilities are thirty-seven point five. STS other name is current liabilities. Remember. And STU other name is current assets. In the exam they will use this word freely, and you have to understand quickly. Yes, sir. Now. Now have you all understood? Yes or no? Up to seven. Understood. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Now, you, no, no sir, problem. I will. Uh, yes. Yes, madam. Sir, if we uh, go for short, but then we can understand like this: short term sources is equal to current liabilities. Short term uses hmm. is equal to current assets. Uh, yes. Yes. Same What is long term sources and long term uses? Ah, uh, madam. Long term sources are. Only two, madam. That is your capital. Your capital is expected to be on long-term basis. You know, capital will not be withdrawn immediately. It will not be used up immediately. So, capital is always long-term source. Similar way, you are going and raising a term loan from the bank. The company is raising a term loan from the bank. Then tell me whether it is a long-term source or short-term source. So, long-term sources are two. Long term sources are how many item? Two in the balance sheet. Which are the item, madam? Capital plus long term loan. That is also called NCL. The name in the balance sheet angle you call it NCL. Don't call long term liabilities. You have to call it as what? NCL. So NCL plus capital net worth is now treated as long term source. And a similar way, land and building, furniture and fitting. And uh, R and D, all these are treated as long-term assets. 
Short term assets are current assets. Okay, madam. So the names I am giving you, these are the things you have to familiarize. Jargons, terminology. So up to this understood, seventh question. Yes, madam. All of you, because it's a crash program, there is no time for you. You have to understand. If you are attentive, I can make you all pass. 70, 80 marks you can get. That is my guarantee. Okay, if you are all with me, I will, okay, and that is a way we coach will be. IBS always focus on, yes, all people, the end result is you have to pass in, yes, this attempt, never miss. Okay, friends, now you come to your yes, question. I will give varieties. I will give varieties. Don't worry. See, so I will give variety. Now you see, what is debt to ratio? What is the relevance? The theory question. The theory question. <laughs> What is debt equity ratio? What is the relevance? Okay. What is debt equity ratio? Debt equity ratio is nothing but relationship between, uh, they will give four options. Here are also four options. All debt versus equity. Mm. Uh, working capital versus capital. No. Long term debt versus equity funds. Long term debt versus equity funds. This is the correct answer. Long-term debts, NCL versus NW is called debt equity ratio. Here D stands for no doubt. Otherwise, you will forget. The debt equity ratio, debt equity ratio, very popular in banking. So the debt debt mean uh, debt here mean long-term loans or in other words, NCL in the balance sheet. NCL. What is NCL? Non-current liabilities of the balance sheet is also called D. What is E? E is net worth or in other words, owned funds are E. Sometimes they will use the word, sir, why they are using the word E? E is nothing but capital. Sir, why they are using the word D? Whether D includes working capital loan? No. Here D includes only long-term loans. So debt yield ratio is very important. What is the relevance? So the answer is long-term debts versus equity funds. That's the answer. All external liability? No, not all external liability. All external liability means includes uh, working up the liability also. Working up also a current liability. So that kind of D cannot be correct. So the correct answer is C. Theoretical question. Yes, madam. I understood. Yes, friends. Okay. This okay. simple question, I will I will go little yes, faster. The question which requires some elaboration, understanding, I will hold for a while. Okay, now question number 10, 9. Very interesting question. Note down. Why it is interesting? Indirect data. Debt to ratio is 3. Okay, okay. Equity is 20 lakhs. Okay. Equity means owned funds are 20 lakhs. Debt to ratio 3. Total assets are 120. Are right? Total assets. What is the current liability? Are right, God. My God. One more question. Now, from the given data, you have to interpret. You have to become a James Bond. Now, Debt to equity ratio 3 mean, what does it mean? Long term debts are 3 times more than equity. Okay or not? Yes, boss. Tell me. This is how you have to interpret. What do you mean by debt to equity ratio 3? What does it mean? Yes, long term debts are 3 times more than equity. Now equity is 20. Then D will be 3 into 20 is 60. Agreed or not? Yes, boss. Agreed or not, boss? Now, all of you take a small notepad. You can uh, join with me. Now, all of you take a notepad. Okay, this side liability you put. Only two lines you put. This side you put the assets. So here, equity is 20 you put. So the debt is 60 you put. And the total liabilities are 120 you put. Because total assets are 120 mean total liabilities also 120. Now, can anyone tell what is the current liabilities? Now, can anyone tell what is lakhs. the current liability? 60 huh? lakhs, sir. 60 lakhs. 60, huh? Uh, 60. 40 lakhs. 40 lakhs. Uh, 40 lakhs is the answer. <laughs> Correct. Not 60 because this will become 60. 60 plus 20, 80. So 120 minus 80, 40. Great. Great. Clap. Okay. This is how you have to crack. You see how interesting, you know? If they are giving directly, everybody can answer. So by giving a data indirectly, you have to work on that. Then it will be interesting. Okay, step number one. Here I am explaining. Don't worry. 
step number 1 dead equity ratio 3 that mean equity 20 mean ncl will be ncl mean non current liability term liabilities will be 60 agreed now total assets 120 mean total liabilities also 120 because total liability they are giving only total assets that means total liability also 120 ah uh, 120 so here current liability will be what is remaining here d d, d got ncl got e got net worth got now which is missing only current liability missing so 120 minus 60 minus 20 that become 40 is the current liability 40 is the current liability you are now on the liability side only you are not gone to the asset side now understood or not this question all of you understood because all the 50 are more than that whoever on the screen all of you have to understand this question simple question yes boss i want answers yes 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 yes, yes. yes understood sir yes. okay if you are uh, yes ma'am sir repeat sir uh, repeat ah uh, okay boss indirectly they are giving data boss indirectly they are giving a data what is the data they are not giving directly uh, uh, that is why uh, see we will test your intelligence okay smartness uh, okay Debt to credit ratio three boss. What does it mean? I am not going to tell you. I am not going to tell you. I am not going to tell you. Tell me by equity. Okay, so are you ready? Please tell them. When now they are talking to uh, yes, when they are off the screen, they have to unmute. Otherwise, what they are yes. Three balls, madam. Please mute. So please don't disturb the class. Okay. Okay. Okay, now they understood. Okay, very good. Okay, friends, debt to credit ratio three friends mean you have to quickly interpret. Ah, that is a banger. Quick interpretation. What does it mean? Long term loans of the unit is three times more than the capital. Equity is also known as capital. Their capital is twenty lakh. So the long term loan should be three is three into twenty. Okay, sixty. Agreed or not? So first up, agreed or not, boss? First up, agreed or not? You tell me, boss. Agreed or not? Agreed. Ah. Okay. Now second step. Total assets one twenty mean total liability also one twenty, boss. They will not tell total liabilities. So the total yes, assets sir. once you are given, total liabilities also one twenty. So here that NCL mil gaya. You got NCL. You got uh, capital. Now which is missing? Only current liabilities missing. that you have to find out find out the missing person current liability is missing in the right hand side uh, right not right hand side left, left hand, hand side you have to find out uh, you have to find out how will you find out 20 available 60 available then the missing should be 40 agreed abbas that is a question so a simple question but it needs some working you cannot just like that answer no you cannot answer 2 plus 3 is 5 no you have to little working is required uh, agreed boss okay now you see the variety i am going to give you a variety don't worry 10th one so the current liability in this case is 40 lakhs now question number 10 uh, i am changing the variety if debt to credit ratio 3 okay equity is 20 same side liability side total assets are 120 okay oh my god here you see current assets is 60% of nca ha ha current assets is other side current assets is 60% of nca find out cr cr mean current ratio now this side already we have solved how you solved that liability side already you have solved because equity capital is 20 long term liabilities are 60 and current liabilities are 40 so 120 tallied correct So here also you have to create one twenty. How the one twenty is made up of CA plus NCA. How much CA? CA is sixty percent of NCA. You assume NCA. Note down. Next step is note down, boss. You note down all of you. Next step you have to write down. Assume NCA hundred rupees, hundred percent, hundred percent. Then CA will be sixty percent. Agreed or not? Sixty percent of what? 60% of what nca so the total assets will be how much 160% or you convert a ratio that is better so ca is 
60 percent, NCA is 100 percent. Agni Dabas, how much NCA? 100 percent. How much CA? 60 percent. That is why 60 percent are NCA. <coughs> so 100 yeah, is to 60. Not. NCA is 100 bus. CA is 60 percent. 60 percent. 60 percent of NCA. So you assume this is 100. <coughs> so this is 60. What is the relationship? What is the ratio? No doubt. 100 is to 60. What is the ratio, bus? 100 is to 100 is to 60. What is the ratio? Huh? Five is to three. Ah, uh, five is to three. Then, if it is total is one twenty, you uh, segregate assets in five is to three. Then, what will be current assets? What will be current assets? Forty five. Ah, great. Nine. Forty five. Forty five, boss. Are a great boss. Give a clap to that. Jet. Yes, our friend. Who, are, who is our friend? Get, getting a clap. He has cracked in one second. Five is to three. Here, this is three. This is 5, 160. So 5 plus 3, 8. So 8 into 15. No, 120. So 120 divided by uh, 5. 120 divided by 5. Uh, 120 divided uh, Sorry. 120 divided by 8, 15. So uh, 3, uh, yes. 5 into 5 is 75. 3 is 45. 5 is 75. So, current assets are 45. And uh, current assets are 45. And current assets are 75. Oh. You have to unmute them, boss. Okay. Yes, boss. Now the time is. Now I think I can stop at this because otherwise if I load more, we wait till eight o'clock. So now up to ten questions we have I discussed. Have okay. Now tenth question. What is the doubt? Uh, now have yes, you cracked or not? Yes, boss. Yes, Actually, current as a percentage means balance forty percentage. Why you are not taking, sir? Why you are take hundred percentage for? Uh, no, yeah, uh, madam. You are, uh, that is why. You read the question, madam. You read the question. Current assets are 60% of what is 60 out of 100? 60% of NCA. 60% of what? NCA. So you assume NCA is 100%. 100 rupees. So current assets is 60 rupees. Then only 60, 100. NCA is 100. Okay, so 100 okay. is to 60, what is the ratio? 100 is to 60, the ratio is 5 is to 3. Agreed, madam? 100 is to 60, what is the ratio, madam? 5 is to 3. So 5 is to 3, uh, you, then you assume the current assets are 120. The total assets are 120. So 120 divided by 8 into 5 will be NCA. 120 divided by 8 into 3 will be current assets. So current assets will be 45. The 75 rupees will be in NCA. Now you calculate it with tally. 60% of NCA. 75% means 60% is 45. Okay. So again, uh, 5 is to 3. Uh, 75 is okay. 5 times. 45 is 3 times. Uh, okay. So tallied. Now the question is, what is CR? CR is... 45, CA you have got, you have cracked, uh, you are James Bond, you have detected. So current account becomes, current assets become 45, current liabilities already you have got, current liabilities 40. So the current ratio, 45 divided by 40, 1.125. How wonderful. Wonderful or not? Tell me, boss. Whether the question yes, is wonderful or not? Yes, boss. This is the uh, CAV, taste of CAV. Okay, if everything is given ready-made, you will not be able to enjoy the uh, uh, exam. So the exams will be deliberately will be made slightly challenging to test your skills, to test your, to stimulate your thinking. And it's an opportunity for you. So many things which you may not have earlier known, now you are knowing. 
in the name of CAG. Is a good thing or bad thing? As a banker, is a lifetime subject. Current ratio, lifetime subject. NWC, lifetime subject. Long term sources, I will repeat. Long term sources, capital plus long term loans are long term sources. Short term sources, current liabilities are short term sources. Current assets, all current assets are short term uses. All NCA is long term assets. Okay, LTA, LTU. So the balance is nothing but total assets will tally with total liabilities. Sir. Liabilities broadly three segments, assets two segments. Uh, yes, tell me, madam, any doubt? Uh, sir, uh, if we take uh, instead of this 100, if we take NCS X, suppose X. We okay, can yes, also. yes, madam. So supposing your total assets are, here total assets are already given, now, madam. Your total assets are already given. So you need not have to take X. If it is not given, you can take because the total assets are already given as 120. But indirectly, they are telling current assets is 60% of NCA. So NCA, you have, now you have to assume NCA is 100. Uh, you assume NCA is 100, then current assets will be 60. So the ratio will be, okay, 5 is to 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 is equal to 120. So 3 is equal to how much? 5 is equal to how much? Ratio, you have to... These are all your uh, uh, school days, you know, uh, studied all these simple mathematical applications. Ratio, ratio, 5 used to 3. Supposing you have to divide 100 rupees into 5 used to 3, immediately you can divide. 100 rupees there, you have to divide into 4 used to 1. Yes, 80, 20. 4, 4 used to 1 means 4 plus 1, 5. 100 divided by 5, uh, 20. So one share is 20, another share is 80. 4 used to 1. Supposing uh, debt to good ratio, debt to good, uh, total uh, liabilities are, uh, okay, total project cost is 100 crore. Debt to good ratio 3 is to 1. Now, can you tell what is debt, what is equity? Uh, immediately can tell. Total project cost is 100 crore. Debt is 3 times more than equity. 3 plus 1, 4. So, 100 divided by 4 is 25. So, capital is 25. Long term loans are 75. 25, 75, 3 is to 1. 75, 25. Correct, boss? So this is how you have to think differently. Yes or no? So the 10 questions are different or the routine ones? Whether you are you have understood all the 10, yes or no? Yes, boss? Yes or no? Interesting or boring? Tell me, boss. Interesting. Yes, sir. Very interesting. Ah, very. Yes, sir. Very interesting. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is how... Uh, you are CAB, they will uh, try to, yes, CAB, no, very well. Now you watch, different uh, different arithmetic are there, different uh, theoretical questions also there, uh, how to calculate DP, how to calculate working capital, how to calculate break-even analysis, so many things are going to come. Don't worry. Okay? Yes, friends. So, shall we take a break? Now, as per the schedule, because you have to take coffee and all, evening coffee, now the time is 6 o'clock. Now we'll reassemble at 8, eight correct, as per the time table. Okay, I will leave at this point. 10, now I will proceed from where we left. Any doubt, any point of time, please stop. But once your question is over, immediately unmute. Okay, if you keep it open, your background noise will, yes, uh, will be heard by everyone. Okay, friends? Okay, yes, okay, boss. Sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yes, sir. Eight o'clock will be, sir. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, we'll uh, come yes, back yes. again. Okay.